on Nationwide this evening, we're in County Tipperary to meet a man who is skilled at finding and buying foals which have gone on to win races, including the recent Grand National winner, Manella Times. We visit the Clonmel Yard of John Mallon, where we meet champion jockey Rachel Blackmore, and we travel to Waterford to hear from trainer Henry de Bromhead, who bought Manella Times from Mallon's Yard in Tipperary. The recent Aintree Grand National win for Ireland gave the nation a much-needed boost with history being made when Tipperary's Rachel Blackmore won on the Henry de Bromhead trained Manella Times. Before that, the County Waterford trainer had six winners at Cheltenham, including victory in the Gold Cup with a horse called Manella Indo. But this Manella success story began a long time ago in Clonmel in County Tipperary. The Hotel Manella on the banks of the River Shore is a four-star establishment. It has a solid reputation as a family-run business, which this year celebrates 60 years trading. In recent years, the name of the hotel has become famous on the racetracks here in Ireland and in the UK. This is due to the fact that the hotel's owner has named the horses he buys as foals after the hotel. John Allen, along with his sister Liz, are the owners of Manella Hotel in Clonmel. And John certainly knows a good horse when he sees one. He's been buying foals for his racing yard, which is located just a few kilometres outside the town for over 40 years. Our reporter, Mary Fanning, went along to meet this temporary man who has an eye for many a winner. After as dramatic a Grand National as you'll ever see, because history has been made. You have just witnessed Rachel Blackmore winning the Grand National for JP McManus and Henry de Bromhead on Manella Times. How brilliant is that? Those glory days you wait a lifetime for begin here in the fields for John Nallen, a hotelier, a farmer, a trainer of young horses. He goes to bloodstock auctions and looks for the champions of the future when they're just six and seven months old and then brings them on over four years to compete on the point-to-point -point fields. They run and are sold and his years of work and graft paid off when he saw the story end with Cheltenham and Aintree Glory, both the Grand National and Gold Cup winners, Manella Window and Manella Times, were reared here in the shadow of Schlievenamon Mountain in County Tipperary. This is living the dream, like this is this is unbelievable stuff. Like you think, you know, you you, you dream I guess thirty years going to, going to Cheltenham and going to Liverpool and you look at national winners and you say, Oh like and to think that you had two of them in the field, you had two of them in the same field and you rear two of them and you produce them and they win the same year, it's unbelievable. And to be associated with the with the whole Rachel story and the biggest sporting moment in the history of in the history of, of, of horse racing and to have, I mean, imagine if Nike, uh, if, if Tiger Woods has a Nike golf club or if Hussein Bolt has Nike, Nike runners on him, what it costs or what it would cost. I have Manila on the world stage for everything and I got money for it. The reaction from all over the world to the double blue ribbon wins has been phenomenal. I spoke to a man yesterday. I said, I felt this was like Italian 90. And I think, I, I, I said to him, I think it's more like John Paul 78. And your man said to me, hold on, stop. You know, say it. <laughs> it's unreal, you know. It's just unbelievable stuff. And John's own reaction watching the Grand National win went viral on Instagram. John says he buys rough diamonds and turns them into stars. But there's an awful lot of work and look needed before that to get the horses ready to run in a point to point. Point to points are races dating back to 1752 and are a nursery for future stars. And that's what John Nallen specialises in. John bought Manello Indo from fellow Tipperary breeder John Lawler and entry winner Manella Times from Westmead horseman Cahal Ennis when they were babies and then started the work 
to find their potential. John has produced 58 winners to date and he's always optimistic about the next one. This is table number 17 and this is where Manila Times, Manila Times lived for a year and a half. We used to call him Popeye because he was very busy always and he was touchy about his ears. He was always very touchy about his ears but from the first day he was a serious horse to jump. And this horse is Manila Crooner. He's in the same stable as Popeye as Manila Times and he won his point to point 45 minutes before Manila Times won his national and he's for sale. It's full on teamwork at Manila Racing. James Corky Carl, a former point to point champion rider, is assistant trainer and he and John complement each other. When John is busy in the hotel, he knows he can rely on Corky's expertise. But the business model with the horses is a long haul. It is a long haul, but that's one thing that John loves here on the farm. John loves wearing them. John comes out here every day if he has a wedding on, regardless how busy he is inside. John comes out here every day. He goes, he goes, feeds all of those yearlings, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, all the ones out in the fields. He makes sure they're all sound, they're all healthy. There's no problems with any of them. And that's what John loves. It gives him a break away from all the busy, busy inside in the hotel. Behind the scenes is a sophisticated operation. Every penny made, reinvested. There's a spa and solarium for the horses and they're weighed after work to monitor their well-being. The farm has two excellent gallops and it's here the Manella team prepare their point-to-pointers. Point-to-pointing is very much part of rural life where the chasers and herders of tomorrow are tested. And this point-to-point footage in Drumahan in County Cork is where Manello Indo had his first and only run before he was bought by J.P. McManus and sent to trainer Henry de Bromhead. Henry broke all the records in Cheltenham and Aintree this year, but the horses must go to the next level in their training when they come to him. Everything is geared at his yard towards the horses relaxing after work. Every single one of them have their own pen at their stables, and this is Manello Indo's chill-out zone. Grand National winner Manella Times is relaxing in his space, and Henry says the experience brought from the point-to-point -point field to his yard is invaluable. And to be able to see them perform for a start is massive for us, you know, and, and also to have been brought through the right way, well-schooled, well-trained, you know, it's massive for us, and... and you know, as much as you want a horse um, that's shown uh, plenty of ability, obviously we're all trying to buy the best one. Um, you also don't want them overtrained as a young horse. And in fairness to John, like all his horses go on. And um, as a, you know, I, I'm I'm probably his biggest fan because we've had so so much success buying out of there. And no doubt Henry will be back shopping with John again. John's a tough man to buy off. He he, uh, he values them well. Uh, so, look, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But, of course, you know, we've had so much success buying from, from John. And he has, you know, he and uh, Corky Carroll do such a great job and his, all of his team with them. Yeah, of course, we'd love to buy more. But, uh, we ha you know, we have to try and strike a deal. John Allen is all about family. And he takes pride in his son, Jack, who has special needs and takes a great interest in the yard. Nephew Shawnee is an established pony racing jockey with his eye very much to a career in racing. This is my nephew, Sean Bourne. He's hopefully making whatever go having a, another Gold Cup winner. I think we have a jockey here, please, guys. Uh, he's on a three-year-old Sageburg out of the same family as Manel Indo. He's out of a half-sister, Manel Indo, a supreme leader, mayor. Shawnee, is this the next dream? Yeah, hopefully. Please, God. That's the dream we're living for. This is the life. Another nephew, Connor, also rides out and works in the yard. And he's inherited his uncle's business acumen, producing a line of Manila racing clothing as part of his school's transition year project. John's wife, Bernadine, a GP in Clonmel, says the win came just at the right time for the family. This has been obviously the busiest year of our lives as GPs, the busiest year of my life and everyone's life as a GP in Ireland during the pandemic. And um, so this lift in, in the racing has been a huge boost for us as a family. Um, I mean, John was at an all-time low in the last few months with no business and no point pointing. There was no outlet for his horses and there was no income to the hotel. 
So this has been a godsend. This, this victory and this winning has been a godsend to us as a family and hopefully to the racing world in general. But no one could have seen it. Oh, they said that it couldn't be done when Manila won the double in 2021. Bernadine's nephew, Joseph O'Gorman from Kildare, wrote the song to celebrate the win. And there's a fantastic feel-good factor around Tipperary. There's no room for inflated egos in this business, and everyone keeps their feet firmly on the ground. John buys his horse feed from Charlie Blackmore, down the road in Killinall, where the Queen of Racing, jockey Rachel Blackmore, was brought up. She pops into the yard for a chat about the next potential winner. She has a spin on Manella Crooner, the young horse who won his point-to-point -point the day she was crowned Grand National Hero. She has time for everyone and chats with young Jack. And Jack gets a presentation of much treasured goggles. She says John Nallan's ability to spot young horses and to produce them is the backbone of national hunt racing. I think that's a beautiful thing about horse racing. You know, it's not all about the, the mega bucks that have to be spent. You know, the dream is alive at any stage, you know. Um, so, look, he's very good at what he does and he can obviously see something I wish I could see in a fall. Um, but, yeah, look, it's fantastic what he's doing. And, you know, I, I'm delighted to be able to have ridden, you know, the biggest winner of my career on a, a Manila horse that they came from, from here. It, it all starts in places like this and this is where horses get their education and you know it makes my job a lot easier when uh, when they leave a place like this with the grounding that they get. There's never a down moment at Manella between the hotel and the racing yard and even the beef for the hotel is reared on the farm. Manella Hotel was bought by John's parents Jack and Babs back in 1961 from the sale of a greyhound who won the English Derby. In reception, there are hundreds of cards from well-wishers. Liz Bowen Nallan, John's sister, is managing director and she's bowled over with the generosity of people who sent messages and well-wishers. We've had well-wishers from all over the world, from Kentucky, from America, from England, France, um, lots of our friends in the UK and from Antonishta as well. We've been closed really since last March and um, not knowing when we're going to open. Hopefully it's going to be June or July. But a lot of people are trying to make reservations, but not knowing when they can come and stay, you know, and when we can open our doors again to everybody. Uh, like it's been a godsend. My 17-year-old son restarted fodder by Manella, which is a converted horse box in the car park at the hotel uh, just about 10 days ago. And, you know, it's really brought people out. It's takeaway coffee. People are walking from the Shore Blue Way, grabbing a coffee, a pastry. It's brought our chefs back in the kitchen so they can bake and, and they can cook again. There's no doubt that John Nallan is a very astute horseman who will give an animal every moment they need to achieve their potential. But he also shares that with his community. And Sean Bates, a Clonmel shopkeeper, got a new lease of life when he started riding out on Saturday mornings. It wasn't my first time on a racehorse, but I got up anyway. We'd done the bits. Corky gave me great confidence out here. He was always very careful that he put me on something safe. And as I went on, wet mornings, cold mornings, didn't matter. The buzz was unbelievable. I could come home at around 11 o'clock after being here since 8. And I could be tired, but I was buzzing. Every day is a new horizon for John Nallan. He has memories you could only dream about. And as the family reminisce, watching footage of the Gold Cup winner, Manello Indo, in his point-to-point -point in Dramahan a few years ago, point-to-point -point jockey Johnny Barry said he always knew he was going to be a star. We, we knew he would with a very nice horse, but like, we, like, you know, a lot can happen. They can get injured and... And um, but he got a clear run of things, and uh, he proved himself. He's 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 one of the, the top rated horses in uh, both UK and Ireland now. So it's great. It has been the stuff of dreams for the Nallan team, but life goes on, and John takes pride strolling out in the fields 
watching the young stock mature and grow, wondering, is there another Manella Indo or Times on the way? Hopefully it's one of them. It's hard to believe that they done this job four years ago, maybe the same day, and you walked out and the Grand National winner, the Gold Cup winner, or, or you fed him in the field like a feed these, you know. It's just fairy tale stuff. I was dreaming and it turned into reality, but I dream about these bunch because these are fine scopy horses and a horse with good pedigrees and they've come a long ways and they look they have the presence, the horses here are savage presence. Horse there are savage presence, the horse here. This one has serious use of himself. He buck and he kick he, he on wings. There's a lovely bunch of horses in this field, you know, you just dream about these lads. And this fellow is a, a great horse that I bought the sales. I had no clue anything about it. I just kept passing this foal out in the passage. And I said, what's he? And he'd buy a French sire I never heard of. And I just kept watching him. I said, I'll have him and I bought him. And that's how, like, it's just, they just fall. He just jumped into, he like, him now, he, if you bet me a thousand euros that I was going to buy a foal, buy a French sire, they said, I'd say, you're on, I'll win me a thousand euros. And I end up buying him, you know, that's, and they just jump, the, the ones like that jump into your arms, and they're generally the ones that turn out lucky. And everybody in the country is hoping for more victories for our Irish bred horses and our trainers and jockeys in the years ahead. After the break, a day at the races, but a day like it was before COVID. See you shortly.